<clears throat> hey, 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 what's up, good people? Shelby here. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for coming, for clicking the link, for following a button, and like joining in the fun. Uh, and if you are a returning subscriber, then thank you so much for coming. Um, I love that you're here. I hope you brought a friend. I hope that you have already gone down to the bottom and commented so that you can enter to win our giveaway. Uh, for the month of December. Um, so I'm super excited to be giving that away. If you want to see the details, it's in my stories. But today, oh my gosh, today, okay. So I've been thinking about doing a favorites video and today we're gonna do some favorites. We're gonna do my favorite items from the drugstore. If you would like to see what my favorite items are and what's like, what's on my face though, then you should stay tuned. Uh, and um Let's, let's, let's hop into it. Like this is, I'm excited about this video. Budget friendly is my jam. Anyways, let's hop into it. First things first, this will not be an all one brand video. Um, I have some brands that I'm in love with at the drugstore and some things at the drugstore price point, but I believe everything that I'm about to show you today should be able to walk into almost any drugstore and or Ulta and you will be able to find it. So that means no looking online, <laughs> no searching through the bargain bin at Sephora, and no hoping, wishing, praying, hoping and wishing and praying and hoping uh, that they are going to have it because these items are popular, so therefore you should be able to find them, especially if you're in a crunch, okay? Let's start at the beginning. One of my favorite, like, primers, even though I don't know if it got a whole lot of, like, legit like claims or fames or even call outs is the Wet n Wild Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose Primer. This primer water is really interesting. Um, it's supposed to prep, set, and refresh, but I find that even if I use this as a primer, it actually works really well and it sprays on. Plus, it smells wonderful. Okay, it's not the only setting spray that will be in this little vid, but. It, I think it deserves a shout out, okay? Uh, next up, and this is of course after I've already washed and sunscreened and lotioned, depending on what my foundation is gonna be. So we have our primer. Next step, my, my shout out for my color corrector is actually gonna be the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop in the shade Cappuccino. Now my undertones are actually cooler or neutral. So this has a kind of an orangey tone that it's more flesh-like than the LA Girl Orange, but it's orange enough to cancel out dark spots and uh, hyperpigmentation, things like that. So this is super brown girl friendly. It's like 11 bucks. And I gotta say, I'm just looking at the top. He's sniffing for everything. And I just really like this as a color corrector. If your shade is more red, you could use this as a concealer also. It's multitasking you know, products. We love multitasking products, especially when you're on a budget. Let's talk about tools. Sanaya Kashuk, Elf, Morphe, okay? These are great brushes. I mean, I know some people love them, um, especially the Morphe brushes. A lot of people love the Elf brushes and Sanaya Kashuk is in Target and I feel like she gets a shout out on like everybody's video, including for her beauty blenders. Her blenders and the Real Technique sponges are legit okay I like these so much okay but these they don't shed I use them very frequently this is Sanaya Kashuk I think this might be the very first foundation brush that I ever bought and sis these are hanging in here okay artsy this thing there are versions of this any version I think of this uh this color switch this makeup brush cleaner you might not be doing super colorful looks, but even if you do neutral everyday looks, having the wrong color on your brush at the wrong time can be really frustrating. So using this in between to clean off color, not germs, color, you still need to clean your brushes, can be really great, okay? Uh, and this is by Artsy, but I think you can, there's a lot of these in the store right now. They're really popular. They're like three, four bucks. They're super effective and they're reusable. You wash them and dry them and then use them again. So. Neutrogena makeup wipes. These come in singles, they come in big sizes, they come in travels. These are like one of the best things to get your makeup off with. Do I have it upside down? No, okay. To get your makeup off with. It's really effective. It probably snatches off more makeup than I think most things that you can uh, that you can use that aren't like really harsh on your skin or require you to scrub. I also like to pair it with the Garnier uh, Micellular Water. Now, my cellar water. I ain't saying that right. My cellar water. This is a little one. I carry this with me, but I do have big ones. 
And I like to use this and the Neutrogena Makeup Remover to like make sure I get everything off my skin, out of my pores, so that I don't, one, have streaks on my pillow, but also like I don't have crap in my pores when I think they're clean. And that, that's how you end up with bumps, sis. Like, that's sexy. It's not. I'm sorry. I got a little excited. So, let's talk about foundation, though. Let's talk about foundation. Okay. Okay. I know I said they were not all going to be the same brand, but the MVP of foundation in like the budget friendly zone aside from like your juvia's place and your nyx nyx is amazing i haven't found the nyx foundation that i'm in love with yet but i do have one that i do want to try out um and that is the bear with me foundation as well as the born to glow i've used both of them but on other people i want to use them on myself but i'll shout them out because nyx is is not a slacker okay but i want to shout out your sis yo boo that chick maybelline I, I mean it's it's maybelline like it's maybelline she comes through in the punch like she comes through in a clutch right in a clutch so we all are aware of the super stay sticks okay i have the color mocha and the color caramel i use them to uh highlight and contour with love them they are stick foundations they're creamy they're moisturizing and they have long wearing tendencies sis none of them bad tendencies she's gucci she's your lockdown she's your backup she's your bottom chick yeah maybelline fit me foundation okay this is in the shade what are you coconut okay this is a great foundation too uh it is a dewy consistency so it's gonna have some glow to it it is long wearing it's lovely it's not heavy and it just it does awesome stuff this is new to me this is the maybelline dream urban cover i'm wearing it right now the match on this sis though blows my mind this is in the shade cappuccino okay um and yes i know these are all different colors i didn't make them that way maybelline did it the, the foundation industry they can't get their lives together this is my dream this might be my number one foundation for the year okay i judged it out of the bottle I grabbed it off the shelf and we were in love from that first blend, okay? If you saw any of my photos for DC when I was out there in the cold looking real cute but a little bit chilly like frosty on the edges, you know, in a cute way though, I was wearing this. I was probably wearing this, okay? I needed something dewier than what I had with me and it has SPF 50 in it. 50. You don't need 50. But there's nothing wrong with having 50. It's full coverage. It's got sunscreen. It's lightweight. It's an amazing color. Like, like, look. 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 It's an amazing color match. And she was like nine bucks? Nine. This is my sis right here. This is my girl. We go way, way back. Like, like almost like three weeks. Like we we we're, we're we're bonded at the hip. The hip. Concealer and contour, okay. And all these that I have, I'm not gonna go through every single one in every color. But these concealers, they go hard in the paint. Now, of course, N Y X is amazing, which I did shout out. And of course, um, L A Girl, O G. You cannot live without your L A Girl for for contour, concealer, and color correction the three C's of everyone's life, you know, everybody's makeup life. Um, you need all three, right? So LA Girl, OG, never not that chick, always on the list, always invited to the party, always checks out last, you know, she even stayed to clean up, okay? We're back to Maybelline, okay? This is the, is this, yeah, this is the Instant Age Rewind, also OG, we know it, we love it, nobody is breaking up with it, uh, this is in shade golden, okay? I think I said before my, I use cool tan for my LA girl. But these two are not new, but I haven't heard a lot of people talk about them. So this is the Sleek Life Proof Foundation. I really like this. This is the Sleek Life Proof. It's in the color Cafe Macchiato. And then this one, which I have been pairing with my Maybelline Urban Cream Cover. Urban Cream Cover? Yeah, Urban, urban Cover. Dream Urban... Dream Urban Cover, that name. Yes, that one. Have my lashes been crooked the entire day? Oh, it's okay. That's better. Okay, all right. I woke up the whole side of my face. So this is a CoverGirl concealer. This is called True Blend Undercover Concealer in the shade Golden Amber. I got this on right now. She nice. 
she real nice okay everything that i have on i'm, I'm gonna sh i'm showing you but like this is nice it's got long wear okay it's got solid full coverage it's not drying she don't move and she dries down but not so much that you feel like you need like a sledgehammer to like break it up and then move it around like she she she's getting up there with the contenders you know so moving on from foundation and concealer let's talk about your brows okay there is one maybe two products that i've tried this year that i thought were amazing revolution pro brow pencil i'm using it in the shade dark brown this is eight dollars okay this rivals the uh, products from Anastasia Beverly Hills, from a little bit from Fenty, uh, even from um, Benefit. Like this sis right here, eight bucks. Ulta, get one, okay? She's amazing. It's like hair like strokes, great color, nice undertone. She makes me happy, okay? The other one is, is this dual ended brow gel and pencil from the lip bar. It comes in the um, fast face system that they just released and this bad boy her color is highbrow it's called quick draw this is gorgeous i actually have this on right now uh i didn't know if i was gonna like the undertone but i do i like the consistency of the of the cream that you put actually on your brows stop it stop it he just burped in my face he ain't got no training just a hoodlum I like the undertone. I like the hold of the gel. I didn't like that the, there's no spoolie to just comb your, your brows up with, but that there's brow gel. So the brow gel's tinted. So it's you have to be careful. You have to get the hang of it. But once you get the hang of it, you get brows. You get brows. You get brows. You get brows. Okay. So shadow. All right. I love Wet n Wild. Um, of course, I love ColourPop. Again, I won't beat you over the head with ColourPop because ColourPop and um, who else? Uh, Maybelline and uh, Morphe. They they are like they they're those chicks, right? They get called out a lot, but I think we should definitely talk about some of the other ones that are very budget friendly and easy to get. Okay, I'm talking about Juvia's Place, NYX. Okay. Juvia's Place and NYX come through with pigment. They are reasonably priced. They are in Ulta. They are, uh, this one is available online. NYX is in um, Ulta. They are in, I think they're in like CVS and in Walmart. They're in a lot of places. This Off Tropic palette is one that I really, really love. I don't have this on today, but I love those colors right there. And then you got, this is the Mini Masquerade palette. Look at those colors and those neutrals. Sis, she's fire. Oh, there's no colors in here I haven't used. Super affordable. I think this was like, it might've been 20 bucks. This might be the most expensive thing on my table right now, to be fair. Um, this is a great palette. Gonna get a lot out of this. Then for liquid eyeshadows, because I feel like these... They haven't had a comeback, but they've definitely had a lot of attention in the last, I don't know, year, year and a half. Huda released some um, early, I think, was it last year or this year? Um, and then Stila has a bunch out. I feel like a few folks have released other versions of it. But for Drugstore and Affordable, the Ulta uh, Glitter Cream and the Milani Hypnotic Lights, these are actually really, really good. If you've seen these, feel free to grab them. They have incredible payout. Of course, the Ulta one is only available at Ulta, but reasonable, and they, unless they're sold out, which means it's probably good, they have it, and you could just go pick it up and put it on. Like, I literally swiped this on, and then swiped a little of this up here where my crease is, and then put my bronzer in the corners, and that's it. Like, it's an eye look. I just need some, some lashes and a wing, and we done. We're done! Affordable and easy. Like, who doesn't love that? Anyways, so these are in the colors Starlight and uh, To The Max. Boom. Liner, okay? Eyeliner, okay? Mascara lashes. Do not neglect them, but don't go broke buying them. Okay, more Maybelline. I'm sorry. I tried. Oh, wait a 
for eyeliners. There is an incredible one, which I, can, I can't find right now, from CoverGirl. It's a great liquid liner. Gives a really nice wing. Um, I, I also like Maybelline. Mm -mm. I'm trying not to, but Maybelline is so good. Ah. Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner and then the Maybelline Color Tattoo. Now this doubles as an eyeshadow base. It's jet black and you just line and you're good to go. Same with the Maybelline. These are great, super cheap, easy to get, okay? Now, mascara. My mascara shout out is actually pretty limited. My mascara and my um, eyeliner shout out is pretty limited. And that is because Lip Bar crushed it. Like, Lip Bar showed up, provided their products, and crushed it, or crushed it, okay? There is a black liner and a mascara. They're both vegan, they're cruelty-free, they're affordable, um, and, and they're great. I think that these are available in uh, Target. Stop it! These are available in Target, where the lip products are available. Now, the foundation and the face powders are not available in Target. You do have to order those online. Um, but I believe that these two products are available. And even if they're not, honestly, go ahead and order them. I mean, the delayed gratification is good for you, okay? Um, even though I know that that's completely contrary to the point of um, this video. But, I mean... I nailed most of them, okay? It is called the Lash Flash Strengthening Mascara in black, only one option, and the Straight Out of Patience, <laughs> Straight Out of Patience, black liner. This glows on like butter. Butter, okay? Like butter. This goes on and doesn't move. It's vegan and cruelty free. And I think, is it smudge proof? It's smudge proof. And it has jojoba and aloe vera for your pleasure. Ardell Wispies, you, you can tell by how banged up my box is that you can use these multiple times if you're gentle with them and you clean them. Um, but I really love these. I love the Wispies and the Demi Wispies. There are five sets in a pack as I try to close it and make it more presentable. There are five sets in a pack. <laughs> And uh, I like these and I like the Demi Wispies and I also like the Double Ups. There's, there's a lot of really good ones. And these are like seven bucks for the whole pack. These are great. For, available most everywhere. And then also Crooked. You can tell I use these multiple uses. And I guess I didn't clean it up because I wanted you to know that like you can use them even though they're budget. You can use them multiple times. Okay. These are, you're looking at me like he going to put on lashes. And now you ain't got nothing to say. Now you ain't got nothing to say. The Violet Boss Lashes, these are available at Target. And I believe these are available at Ulta too. They are nine bucks, I wanna say. And they come in really fun, like spunky designs. Uh, like these are called Just Slaying. And you can see they're a spiky kind of irregular style as opposed to more natural flair. Really, really like them. Okay, and then the last ones, these are probably debatable. These are the Faux Mink Lashes from Lily Lash. I'm actually, I'm wearing them right now, okay? Usually Lily Lashes run you about 20 bucks, okay? But the Faux Mink ones, especially when they're on sale, they run about 11 bucks, okay? And they are re-wearable. They are really nice. This particular style is, is this, is this actually Gaia? This might be Gaia. I'm not sure. It's either Gaia or LA, okay? And they are super affordable. You can wear them more than once and they look amazing and they look as good, if not better, than the full price of the lashes, let alone some of the more expensive ones because we know lashes are starting to get big and expensive and um, I'm going to wear them and then I'm going to snatch them off. They're not mine. They didn't grow out. Like, save me some money. Let's talk about face powders because face powders for the drugstore, let's get real, they can be hella shady. You get it and you're like, well, why does it look like that? Why do I look like that wearing it? We love Black Radiance, okay? Black Radiance comes through for the girls, okay? You got a contour color, okay? You got a sculpting color, okay? And then you have a highlight color. There is no mirror because it, it's cheap, but it has instructions, okay? These are beautiful. These are beautiful. The color, the pigment, the payout, it's all wonderful. I also really like the three steps to sculpt little trio from NYX. This is really nice. It has something similar, except it includes a banana powder right here, a bronzer or contour, depending on your skin tone, and then a highlighter. Really nice, really pigmented, affordable, available, okay? Uh, 
and I'm giving you a lot of these because I feel like powders are like they're, they're shady like you can't you can't find them let's go with the OG from Maybelline all right this is the master chrome this is in the shade molten gold this is the original original she started the craze she's still that chick she looks like the Marc Jacobs limited edition glitzy uh highlighter don't tell nobody they like they like cousins they're not that far off from the Amrezi, honestly but so much more affordable. This is the Wet n' Wild Bronzer. This is in the shade, uh, it's the Color Icon Bronzer and it's in the shade, What Shady Beaches. <gasps> I'm wearing this right now. I'm wearing it right now. You know, I'm warm. I'm warm, I'm bronzed and such. I'm snatched, I'm snatched. <laughs> Ain't I though? There's this adorable sleek makeup quad. Boom, comes with a mirror, available in Walmart. And I think also, I think I, I got this one from CVS, I want to say. Is he messing up my bed? Yep. All right. So a, a contour, a highlight, and then you have what could be a bronzer or a blush, depending on your skin tone and how you want to wear it. All right. I'm wearing this highlight color as my highlight. Super chocolate girl friendly. Now, blush. Okay. Blush is something that... Not everybody likes blush, I guess. I mean, once you get a color that really complements your face, though, I feel like you become a fan of blush. Like, it does this lifting, vibrant, lively thing with your chocolatey skin, okay? Whether that's light chocolate, white chocolate, dark chocolate, or, like, pure chocolate. Whatever your color is. Whatever your color is. Even if you wish you had some more chocolate. Even if you would like you a chocolate man. Uh, blush look good on you, okay? So, there are two that I want to shout out. One is just awesome because you get so many choices. And the other is, I got this from Jackie. This is Milani. This is in Rose de Oro. It is a shimmer blush, but it's really nice. And I mean, if you've seen Jackie Ina, like she's several shades darker than me. This looks good on both of us. It's a very versatile blush. And because it has a little bit of shimmer in it, it also draws light and like raises the face. It, it's a nice versatile effective blush like she could be your go-to okay then i've got this adorable elf blush quad okay this one is is there a name on this one it's called dark there are i believe there's three in this kit include it includes a, um, a mirror three in this set rather where you, there's the dark there's medium and there's light i believe that they were like nine bucks maybe less elf you know elf be coming through in a clutch especially when your wallet is hurting um and it's got Four in here now this is supposed to be a blush it's a little light I mean I've, I've worn it as a blush you can wear it for other things or use it as a shadow this could be a great shadow quad honestly if you're comfortable with mattes or slight shimmers and warm tones give it a try it might change your life you heard it here first blush as shadow boom thank me later okay and then this darker shade also can be a blush but it could also be a bronzer depending on your skin tone it's warm toned be warned but you can rock it if you're willing to try, okay? Um, I am currently wearing, I believe I'm wearing a combination of this one and that one. I think that's right. Yeah, she's good. Two more powders I want to shout out. Black Opal. This is a setting powder. It is flesh-toned, cool-toned, oil-blocking. I think it's in the shade Invisible, but it's like, it's brown. It's like the color of like Cocoa Puffs right? <laughs> Even though I don't think I like Cocoa Puffs. Anyways, it's very finely milled, goes on like a dream, doesn't change the color, but if you need it to, if you add enough, you can change the tone of a foundation that may be too warm for you with that. You can also just set your whole face. Super nice, super affordable. You should be able to get Black Opal at Walgreens, but I do think that might be the only one that I'm not sure if it's still in stores because I've had it a while, but I really do like it. I also like Black Radiance. She back. Black Radiance is back. Uh, this is the loose setting powder. It's huge. It's a hockey puck. It's probably the same size as the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder that she came out with. Not as mattifying. Um, this is called the True Complexion Loose Setting Powder. I don't think it has a name or a color on it. The only thing I don't like about this is the packaging. Like the powder gets everywhere because it literally is so finely milled. It's practically like diamond dust. Um, but it's a great setting powder. Like I have it under my eyes right now and it, I'm, I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Okay. It's nice. And I think that is seven or eight bucks. I want to say definitely a good buy. Okay. So we have locked in our foundation. We've locked in our eyes. We have on mask. We, well, no, no, we don't have mascara because I ain't have none. Uh, you have on lashes and liner and your face is looking snatched. 
and it's been set. Now you need to spray it. The next matte finish spray, this is a special edition one, but any will do. I got, hmm, I got this when I was in Thailand. Yeah. Uh, this next setting spray is actually really dope. It's super mattifying. It has great hold. It smells good and it's super effective. Okay. You can also use the Rose uh, Photo Focus Wet n Wild setting, setting spray slash primer. You can use it in both ways. It's, it's really multifaceted, multifunctional. This is good. Again, both literally under five or six bucks. Like great, great stuff. I need you some lipstick, sis. So these are some that I love, okay? I mean, I I love like beauty supply, random glosses, and I really love ColourPop. But for the sake of this video, again, I will not be using ColourPop because it can be so hard to find. You, it's hard to, sometimes hard to get it. Um, unless you're in Ulta and unless they have exactly what you want and it isn't already sold out because everybody named Mama is looking for it too. Because ColourPop is like, ColourPop is that chick now. Like everybody knows about her and like, I want to feel special. Okay, so NYX. NYX has a lot of glosses and a lot of lipstick, but I like the Liquid Suede by NYX. I like this lovely NYX. It's called a Candy Slick, which is what I have on right now. And then the NYX Lingerie, okay? These are beautiful colors. They come in a wide range, whether it's matte or bright or even nudie, pinky kind of colors. Um, these three are, uh, what are these called? This is Soft Spoken, Great Nude. Um, this one is Beauty Mark, matte, really nice, long wearing, might have to take off your lips to get it off. Nice, but it, it, it stays on there. And then the Candy Slick is a glow lip color and it's in the shade Cherry Cola. These are really great options. They have an incredibly large range of colors. So you're not going to be shut. You're not going to be short on colors. Uh, I did have an honorable mention, of course, for Maybelline because oh, Maybelline is cornering the market on this price point honestly. But also Morphe. Morphe has some glosses that I really, really like, um, but it's not, I don't know if I feel like Morphe is always budget friendly. It's not, well, it's always budget friendly, but it's not always like cheap, you know, like cheap, like my wallet won't feel it cheap. Like, So this is the look that I made with all of my items that we talked about today. Uh, yeah, if y'all like this style of video, will you let me know? Go down to the bottom, comment, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, tell me what your favorite drugstore bangers are. Um, and uh, like, comment, subscribe, join the family. And thank you so much for watching. I would love your feedback. And oh, don't forget about the giveaway. Giveaway. We are in that time of year, that time of month, huh, the time of the month, uh, and it is giveaway season. So uh, please leave a comment and you could win the, I think it's the Dr. Jart, I think it's the Dr. Jart mask set. It's a set of like seven masks that you can try out. It's pretty much every mask they have. Um, and if you've seen the Dr. Jart mask sets before, they not cheap. They are not at the drugstore and I'm going to give you seven of them. So go down to the bottom, comment on this video or any other November video. No, December, December, any other December video. And, um, if I pick your name, it's you. I'll mail it to you. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao for now. Say bye to the dog. Where you at? 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 Lincoln. There he is. Bye.